Look at that. Our fish is done. Oh, doesn't that look good? Shee-wee! Look over there. Our corn's done too. All at the same time. You don't get no hurry. Things come together pretty well. Now if I can't eat all of this, I'll help them crows out in the backyard. <laughs> them poor crows be battling over that fish and corn. <laughs> I better try to eat all of it. <laughs> There's a, you know, I'm going to get done eating here. Let me turn the fire off here. Let me turn the fire off. We're done cooking. I don't want to burn nothing, but when when uh, when I get done eating, I always pull the fiddle out. And I got a new song I've been trying to learn. It's called Ducks in the Mill Pond. Old timey tune there. Really nice tune. Ducks in the Mill Pond. Ah, you know, if I do all right on that song, yeah, I've been trying to learn that thing for, for quite some time now. And if I do all right, get a good recording of it, I'll put that up there and y'all can watch that too. Hey, you know, I got this knife right here from Smith & Wesson. And that's a really nice knife. If y'all can go out and get you one of those, go get you one. You'd be real pleased with that got a lock here so that the blade doesn't close up on your fingers let me slide that lock off to the side here and I'll open that up you can open up with your fingers look at that close it with your fingers now the one thing that I'm I, 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 I'm really wishing they would do I wish they would make a left-handed version of this uh, knife right here when I open it up with my right hand it takes me a little bit longer time because I don't have that I don't have that here we got a belt loop right here and when you open it up with your right hand you can get your fingers around that belt loop and help you get some leverage on that blade when you go to open it up let me show you what I'm talking about now here I'm going to open this up with my right hand, but see, I can grab that blade handle with my thumbs right here against my fingers and thumbs against that pivot point. You see that? My fingers down here on this belt loop give me a good grip. When I try to do the same thing with my left hand, I ain't got that over here. I ain't got that pivot point that I can bring that blade around and so it takes me a little bit of extra effort uh, like a one two to open that blade instead of a one let's try it again I'll show you now watch this this is my right hand and I got my fingers wrapped around that belt clip see that how easy that is we'll close the blade again you see that this is not a left-handed knife, but I really like it. This knife here goes wherever I go. That's Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops. You want to get you a good knife, get you one like that. And maybe, if they watch my video, they'll make the left-handed version. Or at least what they ought to do, you see these two screws here? That holds the belt clip. Make me some holes over here where I can move this belt clip from the right-handed side over to the left-handed side. I took you or to do. That'd be the easiest thing to do. Doggone, y'all got CNC machining. You ain't doing this by hand. You could drill me two holes right there and nobody'd ever know the difference. 
<laughs> okay, let's eat that fish and corn. Come on, afterwards we'll play some fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> and if the crows in the backyard is lucky, they'll have a little bit of fish and corn too. Thank you much for watching. Thank you much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.